Alrighty, so we've got a guide here today on how to update your uh, Renix Engine Monitor 2 and uh, possibly other future products if they use the same hardware. So with the REM2 we're using uh, hardware called Teensy. So specifically for the um, Renix Engine Monitor uh, 2 version 4 we're using the Teensy 3.2, so we're going to use uh, Teensy 3.2 uploading procedures. So the nice thing is we don't have to worry about an upload switch anymore, and we don't have to worry about a goofy bootloader anymore. This thing is awesome. So, as long as you find out uh, what kind of hardware you've got in here, we should be good to go. So, on the uh, REM2 version 4, our USB port is on the bottom. Uh, the only thing that kind of sucks with uh, Teensy is the, um, th this is a micro USB port. It's kind of hard to tell uh, <laughs> which way you're supposed to plug it in. Uh, just know that the the top of your micro USB cable, the part that's flat, will face towards the, uh, towards the back. So we got our, our flat side over here to the back. When you plug it in, it should turn on and and then we can uh, start. Uh, make sure that this USB cable is meant for data. Say you can you know, plug a phone into it or something and actually transfer stuff because there are some cables that are charge only and you can't send data so that might, uh, that might confuse you a little bit. So make sure you get a, um, a USB micro B cable that uh, is good for data. On the, uh, the back side of all the, um, the user manuals that I include we have an uploading procedure. So uh, I have the links in here along with, uh, you know, just a basic rundown and some troubleshooting as well. So if you can't ever find the video, well, you get yourself a little backup plan just in case. All right. So now that that's set up, let's move over to the computer. All right. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is go to where we can find the files. So as of right now, I'm just using Facebook uh, and you don't you don't even need an account to find this. So go to uh, facebook.com slash nickandtimefilms and right up at the top I have a pinned post and in here if we scroll down we can find all of our uh, Renduinix uh, builds. So just find your, uh, your current model and uh, just click on the latest uh, link so that'll take you to a Google Drive thing that you can then download. So then you just come up the top and hit download and then you'll get that. Now in the future I might have my own website. Uh, if I do, I'll either put that on the Facebook page or put it in the description. So make sure you check the description for all the uh, latest needs and stuff as things change and I find new stuff out. So when we get our downloaded file, it'll be a zip. We can unzip it and then we get our folder. So inside the folder we have a few things. The cool thing with version 4 and using these teensy things is that I can do a lot of the hard work for you guys now. So now, instead of having to sit there and do what's called compiling the code, we can just upload one that's already compiled. So this hex file right here is ready to go for the easy method. So first we're going to go over the easy method. Later, we're going to go over the hard stuff if you want to actually do your own coding and mess around because, you know, it's open source, so you can play with it. So let's do the easy part first. We are going to have to go to uh, pjrc.com, which is the Teensy website. Uh, again, you can just find the link in the description, but if you need to find it yourself, you can just go to Teensy, and then we will scroll down to what's called Teensy Loader. Now, this Easy Beans is what's going to make all the updating a piece of cake for even your grandmother, who still has a rotary phone in her pocket. So, pick the... Uh, the operating system you have, for me I have Macintosh, so we'll click Macintosh and all we need is the uh, Teensy loader, you don't have to worry about the LED blink sketch so you can follow the um, all this business in here if you like or you can just watch me do it. So we will open our file and we can take this application and put it into our applications folder so we will just do that. Okay. And believe it or not, that's the hard part. So now we go into applications and we find Teensy down here. 
and it's going to ask if we want to open it because we got it from the scary interwebs. We're going to say, heck yeah. And this is it. This is everything. So here's what you're going to do. So you got your REM2 plugged in. That's good to go. Now what we're going to do is click this little page looking thing that is a open hex file. And you are going to navigate to where you downloaded um, your file. Okay, so you're going to find the, uh, the file that you downloaded and find your hex file right here. So it'll, it'll be called uh, Renduinix Plus 2 version blah, version 4 for Teensy. So we go in here and click open. So now we have our hex file uh, loaded and it should read at the bottom. Now we're going to click this little auto button so that it is lit up. So that means that it's in automatic mode. And then what we're going to do is open up the REM and we're going to push the little white button. So right over here, this little guy, this is the button we got to push. So we're going to push it. And there you go. It's all programmed. Just like that. That's all we had to do. And then you can come into DOS Devicen, go to Options, Settings, and over to here to Software Info. And now we can see that we are running the latest software, version 0.831. So there you go. I think you can handle it. <laughs> you have the power. So that's the easy method. Now, let's go over the tough stuff. All right, so now let's get into the more advanced version. So let's say that you want to mess around with the code and become an elite hacker. Well, we can do that too, because the Renduinix project is open source. Yay! Okay, so we're going to come back to our PJRC website under the Teensy page, and now instead of Teensy Loader, we're going to want to look for Teensy Duino. So this is an add-on for the Arduino IDE, so that you can still use your familiar Arduino uh, environment, but all the Teensy stuff is built in. So Dot is cool as well. We're going to click this little guy up here and download it. So click the uh, operating system that you'd like to put that on. We're going to grab a Mac OS X installer. And if you don't already, make sure you have the Arduino software, but I'd assume you do. We'll go over it real quick anyway. It's pretty easy. So right now we're up to 1.84. We're going to find what we want over here and download. You can contribute if you like, but you don't have to. I always give a little bit just because their stuff is awesome and it's things like this that can help me make what I do so we're going to download that and get that all squared away alright so first we're going to install our Arduino software alright and we're just going to drag that bad boy into our applications And if we go into there, we should have our Arduino. So we can click it. And we'll tell it open. And it'll start up and whoop de doo Okay, great. So now that we got that, we know that that works. We can move on to the Teensy Duino installer. So this is going to be the add-on for it. So we're going to open this guy up. Okay, now all we got to do is run this installer. So we'll double click this guy. I'm going to tell it to open. Okay, so it'll tell it uh, what versions of Arduino it's compatible with. So make sure to check that. It is compatible with the latest one, 1 1.8.4. So we're good to go. Click next. Now we have to uh, scroll down and find which one we want. So for ours, it was called Arduino Copy. If I have multiple versions, I usually name it, you know, Arduino 1.8.4 or whatever, just to make it easy to find. But I know which one it is for now. So we'll find it. We'll click Next. And you can install all these libraries if you like, or you don't have to. But, you know, it's nice to have libraries from time to time. So, sure. Click Install. Let it do its fancy business. Okay, so now this just goes over normal usage. 
Uh, this operates the same exact way that it would with a regular uh, Arduino. You can verify the code to make sure it works, and then uh, click Upload, and it'll do all that background stuff with the Teensy Loader, uh, w with the Teensy Loader for you. So I will show you. So now that we have all that set up, we can come back down to our downloaded file, and we can worry about all the other stuff we have. Uh, so along with the libraries, if you don't have this or li um, any of the libraries that this needs, you'll <laughs> you'll have to uh, download them. I will probably keep all the zip files in this package so that it, it'll be easy to find everything. But if not, uh, I'll give links for where to find the stuff. So now we're going to look for the INO files. And specifically, I don't know if it really matters, but we'll just click on the, uh, the main one, Rinduinix Plus 2, blah, blah, blah. So we'll double click that. And notice it's opening in the right one. So here we go. This is everything. So in the Arduino sketch, there's a couple things that I will put in here for you guys. So first, I'll tell you what it is, what model it's for, so I'll tell you exactly what it'll be work on and what it won't. And I'll even give you a little tidbit information. So, you know, I last compiled this on 1.8.3, and it was this many bytes, that many bytes of RAM. And we even got the upload settings. So for our, ver our version 4, uh, there was a bit of a goof I found where... Um, the TCU won't read unless the CPU speed is set low, so we have to set the CPU speed. But uh, real quick, make sure all these tabs show up. All these tabs up here are very important. If you don't see these, you might have to click on one manually or whatever to get them all to uh, open. But yeah, these need to be up here. So first what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Tools, and we're going to select. We have Teensy 3.2. That's good. And then we're going to go USB type is Serial. That is good. Next, uh, the CPU speed, like I just mentioned, for compatibility reasons, we need to stay at 48 or lower. So 48 is fine. Then we need to go down to uh, optimizer. Uh, faster is fine. I don't know if that really matters. You can mess with it, but yeah. Uh, the port. So we uh, we want this one right here, which is our Teensy. And the programmer, although I'm not sure if it actually matters or not, just leave it at uh, AVR ISP Mark II. Okay, so that is everything. So now we will verify and see if we need anything. All right, so we got an error right off the hop. Um, so here is a good trick that I found. The only downside to the TC loader stuff is that their error codes are not very helpful. Sometimes they'll tell you, but most of the time they don't. So here's a little trick. If we go into Tools and change the board type to an Arduino Mega and then try to verify, now it'll tell us what the issue is. Okay, so it looks like right here we're missing some libraries. So we will have to download them. Now, uh, when I'm going to be a nice person, I'll you know leave the links in here so you can find them all. Okay, so if uh, you download them from uh, GitHub, make sure that you delete all those master things so it's just the regular. So now we will come up into Arduino, and we will go to Sketch, Include Library, and Add Zips. And we're just going to go to our Downloads and add those zips. So we'll do that one. And we'll do... that one and we'll do that one okay so now let's try and verify and see if it works yay okay so it compiled for that so now let's switch back over to our teensy Make sure that all these settings stay good. All right, and let's verify for the moment of truth.
the uh, the teensy stuff does take a little bit longer. Okay, so if you notice, the uh, the teensy loader automatically opened when it wasn't uh, open, so that is a really cool feature. It automatically does this for you. So anyway, everything compiled. So let's just check and see. So it looks like this sketch actually takes a little bit more in uh, 1.8.4 than it does with 1.8.3, which is interesting. A little more RAM and a little more RAM too. Huh. All right, so but it, it compiles and it's all good. So now we'll click upload. So it'll it'll run through real quick. Make sure it's good. And I don't know if you saw that, but we didn't even have to push the button that time. It does everything for you. So she's good to go. So if you ever want to be a little hacker and come in here and mess around with all the stuff, you can. And if you also want to see the latest updates as well, you can come through here. I have a massive update log that goes over all the stuff that I've done when I've done it and all kinds of uh, helpful notes and porting things so you know as long as you know what you're doing you should be able to find your way around here so there you go that's how you upload code and update your REM2 for uh, you know all the, the latest updates hopefully that helps you and uh, again make sure to check the description for uh, any updates that I might have along with links and you know things like that if you got any questions let me know Hope that is helpful.